Hi guys, welcome to Superior Style Show. Joe here again, and so we're gonna be going over the next collectible review, and I am super excited about these ones. Um, we've got an unboxing to go through, as well as something I really wasn't expecting to get. So other than that, let's just get started. Punch it. Yeah, excellent. So as I said at the beginning, um, I think we'll go through this first. I've got something this week that I really wasn't expecting to get. And in all honesty, it's not something that's been advertised at all anywhere. I'm 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 very surprised. You you won't you, I can't even find anything about it online. The only way I found out about this was actually watching another fellow YouTuber, um, Usual Mike Television. He does all the Star Wars collectible reviews and all of the latest news for them when they come out and get released. And it's actually someone that posted a picture to him of going in their local Disney store and picking up none other than this. So this is R5P8 from the Elite series. This is smuggled all the way through from Star Wars Galaxy Edge. Now the Elite series, I, I generally thought they'd actually stop these to be honest with you and I generally thought they weren't going to be making any more of them and yet here we go, here's another one and it's a limited release and yeah, they, they only had two in the local Disney store when, when we actually went up there to go and take a look at them. And the guy turned around and said he wasn't putting them out and they said anyone else actually asked for them. And it's not something that Disney have actually even announced. Um, I can't find it anywhere online, like I said. It's not on the Disney store, so good luck trying to find it. And I'm assuming it is literally going to be very limited numbers for all Disney stores. But R5PA, if, any, if no one is actually aware of him, that is um, Hondo and Naka's Astromech from the Clone Wars series and as well you can also find him at Galaxy Edge as well and I just think look at the paintwork on this they've done a super good job at this one I mean look at the mouth in general and I just think it is this one has got to be one of the best Elite series they've ever actually done. And I do like my Astromex anyway, so this was definitely one for the collection. We'll do a little bit of a close-up shot for you guys. So yeah, as you can see, I mean, the paintwork is just super nice. I mean, the way they've done the eyes, so they're not, you know, they're, they're not all in line, so they're all a bit wonky. And of course, you've got the painted on mouth there, exactly portraying him as, he, as you saw him in the Clone Wars, as well as, obviously, you can see him in Galaxy's Edge. and. Yeah, and I just think this is one of the best ones they've ever done, um, you know, and like I say, of all the characters they could have done, Hondo Anaka's, you know, Astro Metroid is just a really random one for them to do. And like I said, I generally didn't think they would be doing the Elite series anymore. I know they did the Imperial Probe Droid, um, but that was obviously... That's during this year where they're obviously releasing as so many different lines and so many special ones. So Elite Series, Black Series, Funko Pops, all four obviously the 40th anniversary, the Empire Strikes Back. But of course we weren't expecting this. And I just think this is such a nice one. Now I've got this for £22. Like I say, the Disney Store only had two of them available. And like I say, they weren't even putting them out. Um, actually had to ask for it and the guy turned around and said yeah I've got a couple out back so guys if you want this I would ring up your Disney store or just get down there straight away to obviously just see if they've actually got them in but I do have a funny feeling it's literally maybe going to be a handful not even that like like I said this store only had two but yeah Disney store go and check this out guys so yeah, that has been the first one. And you know, like I said, I'm super excited about this guy. He's been sitting up there just above the Imperial Probe Droid. And I do love the Elite series. I mean, you know, there's so much detail included in them. And you know, they're die cast as well. So they're just, they're just super cool. But yeah, and the second thing we do have to go over today, I do have this bad boy today. Now inside here is actually two mystery boxes, Funko Pop mystery boxes. And I got them off of Nerd Base UK. I will leave the link in the description down below so obviously you guys can go and check them out. I actually got these off eBay on their eBay page that they're advertising. So essentially you get three Funko Pops in each box for £20 and you do have a chance to get grails, faulted, exclusives, sticker exclusives, or you, you know you could just get commons. I did do one of the um, mystery boxes for them previously Previously, um, I'll leave the link in the description for that video down below. You guys might have already seen that one. But that was just a generic Star Wars box. And you did get a couple of Funko Pops in it. And, you know, in all honesty, I, I got my money back. They weren't the Funko Pops I would have wanted. They, they're just running the meals, um, you know. 
Kaya Finale and just a regular hand solo, and they're from the newer line. So it wasn't really something I was 100%, you know, over excited about. But I thought I would give these guys another go, and I'm just gonna go for it here. And like I say, we've got two mystery boxes here. So this is gonna be interesting to see, and I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping I can maybe get hit the jackpot with some of these. Um, I would love a couple of bolts in, a couple of the blue box ones maybe, even a couple of sticker exclusives, I wouldn't really mind. I don't really know what sticker exclusives you would actually get the title to me. But you know, it'd be interesting to see. So let's get these open. Right, so the lot of tape on these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just obviously take these all out one at a time. Obviously I'll display them off and obviously I'll, I will show them up in the end. But let's obviously get the first mystery box out of the way. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... So first of all, obviously we do have the nerdbase.co.uk, just a little... little little leaflet there thank you for your order and obviously it does give you details and obviously where you can find their location store so these guys are actually located in Essex in part of England for anyone like obviously watching in the States but yeah um, so let's just get started uh, there's a lot of bubble wrap here so I'm not too sure if this is upside down I'm not sure what this is so we'll obviously just take that out as it comes this is quite a heavy one so who do we have and we have Han Solo from the Solo movie. Not the best start to this one, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's not one I have, I, you know, but it's not necessarily one I particularly would have gone out of my way to find, to be honest with you. But, you know, it is what it is. I was expecting a couple of these, and, you know, for £20 mystery box, what do we expect, realistically? So I'm just going to put him down here. Right, and I'm just going to go for the next one. Okay, all right then, okay, so we have BB90. And you know what, actually, I, I will take that as a win. This is one I've actually wanted for a little while now. Um, one of the BB, the BB droids here. I do like the astromechs of the BB droids. It's Bobblehead one, this one. Um, he's quite a cool one. He's obviously the um, the First Order's BB unit, which is pretty cool, to be fair. It's obviously, I'm not too sure what line this is from, actually. I believe this is the last Jedi line. I could be wrong. It might be from The Force Awakens. Obviously, correct me in the comments below if I am wrong. Okay. Um, Let's just sort of see if we can get anything in terms of grails or anything from this last one. So here we go. Okay, for your anniversary, Princess Leia. That's not a bad one. Um, I'll be able to do a little bit of a trade-off for that one, actually. Um, in all honesty, sadly, I already have the full set for the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back line. So that's a little bit of a shame to be fair but that's not a bad one and to be fair you know I, I don't normally go by the, the Funko app but the Funko app is actually saying that she is currently trending for $30 but mm, I'm not too sure about that I, I, I've seen people sell her for a lot more for a lot less on eBay and you can probably still pick her up in the store but it's still a nice one um, so yeah that's not too sad I suppose um, but let's obviously see if we can just get some, maybe some vaulting or some heavy hitters from this one. I'm not holding out any hope, 100% honest, based on that box. But you never know. I'm pretty sure I've made my money back there. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think I have. So let's obviously get into this one. Not looking. And we have... And we have a Porg, okay. Once again, um, not realistically one of the ones I would have wanted again, from the same line as the BB9E again as well. Um, it's okay, I I like the collection. I don't have a Porg in my collection, but in all honesty, they're not one of the characters I would really want. But there we go, okay. So, and next 
please, fingers crossed. This one's quite light. <laughs> now that's that's so ironic again as well that I have the second sister inquisitor down there again as well. Um, that's a bit of a shame, but once again, to be fair, it's quite a nice one. I do really like this one actually. To be fair, I would have preferred Cal Kestis in all honesty, but it, as long as if you guys don't know what she's from. She's from um, the Fallen Order game, and to be fair, she's a very cool character. I mean, I love all the Inquisitors in general, but yeah, okay. Um, last one, please, just something. Stick with anything. And we have Lando Calrissian. Okay, Lando Calrissian, yeah. I mean, to be fair, as far as I'm aware, he's... he's I'm not too sure what year this Lando is from, actually, in all honesty. So what year is he from? Uh, 2018. So, you know, he's a couple of years old now. Uh, once again, not one of the ones I realistically would have wanted out of this, in all honesty. Um, let's get rid of all this now. So, yeah, it's been... I'm not too sure, really. It's been um, hit and miss, I suppose, these mystery boxes. I'll obviously do valuations up at the end and obviously we'll see if I have made my money back. I'll have to go by eBay sold trending um, and I might have a look over the few Facebook groups as well see to actually have a look. But if we take what I have had here, so we have got in terms of these mystery boxes, You know, I was maybe hoping for one exclusive or something, considering, you know, I bought two. I thought, you know what, two, there's got to be a chance there of getting something sort of exclusive here. But here we go. This is the lot that I have. So obviously we've got Lando, the second sister Inquisitor, Porg, BB9E, Princess Leia, and Han Solo. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm not really too sure what to make of these. I mean, I will add these to the collection. Obviously, Princess Leia and sadly, the Second Sister Inquisitor. They will have to go straight on my eBay page, I think. Or if anyone's looking to trade. Or I might actually hold on to them. You know, if eventually we do do a competition, I might actually add them into the competition and you might be in a chance of winning them. But yeah. So, overall, it's been an okay collectible review. Um, Obviously, as we can see here, there's just a few close-up shots of each of these. Um, like I said, I think if I had to pick, obviously, I think the, the best hitter out of all of them was the Princess Leia 40th Anniversary Empire Strikes Back one. Don't get me wrong, Second Sister Inquisitor is super cool as well. I mean, look at the design of her. Um, Lando, you know, he's a pretty cool character. Young Han Solo from the Solo movie. Could have maybe done without that, but um, you know, like I say, I still think they're in shops to be fair, and I think they're getting reduced purely for the fact that you know they're just not shipped in. Porg, I think, still in the shops as well, and of course, BB9E. To be fair, I don't see him very much in the shops anymore, so yeah, there they all are, but yeah. That has been our collectible review, guys, for this, this episode. Obviously, leave a comment and down below what you think your favourite item was. Of course, for me, it's going to be R5P8 there. I mean, you know, that's going to be the best one either or. I think the second best is going to be the second sister Inquisitor. Like I say, it's a shame I've already got her, but it's always a cool one to get. And like I say, I can always trade it along. But yeah, that's been the Superior Star Wars show, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tick that notification box up in the left-hand corner so you can be notified of all our latest videos coming up. Other than that, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But have a superior day, guys.